All right, so let's take a look at this problem here. We have to find the rate of change of the height of, of the water level if the hose is pouring two feet cubed per minute. And how are we going to do that? Well, again, we have, we have volume. We know how much volume is being poured in. So we're going to have to relate volume to height again. Very similar. Well, you'll see they're, they're substantially, well, they're not substantially different, but you'll see there is a difference between this problem and the last one. So let me just draw a little workspace for us. Okay, so the first thing we can, we can do is try and relate volume to height. So the volume of this, of this uh, now triangular type of section is going to be equal to one half times the base times the height times the length, right? It's just the area of the triangle, you can think of it pushed through space, so times the length. That's the volume of that section that I've filled in with water. Okay, so now we have two unknowns though. We don't know what this, the length of this base is here, B. And that's going to cause a problem to having, having two unknowns. We're going to have D, if we, if we tried to just take the derivative of this straight off, we're going to have DB DT and DH DT. So, the, rate of, so the, the volume depends on the rate of change of the base and the height. So what the heck can we do here? Well, I am going to, to uh, attempt to, to show you what our, our options are. I'm going to attempt to do it neatly. So here is, is it as if we were looking straight on to the, to the side of this. The top is 3 feet. So here we have three feet. The height of this whole thing the height is going to be equal to six feet. That's what we're given that in the diagram. Okay, and that's all we know. And then we have the height of the water. So this height here. is an unknown and this length B is unknown. And let me fill that in to show you that's where the water is. Okay. But what do we have here? We have some we have similar triangles. The triangle the triangle here, um, this smaller triangle filled with water is similar to the larger triangle of the container. And when you have similar triangles, their sides are in proportion. So so how could we how could we write that? Well, their sides are in proportion means that, that the height, the smaller height, over the larger height, so h, the smaller height, divided by the larger height, 6, that says 6f, this should be feet, 6 is equal to the base, the smaller base now, on top, divided by the, the larger base. So this means that 3h is equal to 6b. Um, so 3h is equal to 6b. Uh, this shouldn't be this shouldn't be an equal sign. This should be implies that 3h is equal to 6b. And that means that b, the base, is equal to one half the height. So the base is equal to one half the height. So now we just solve for b in terms of h. So we could take this, this b is equal to one half the h, and just plug it in here for this b. So let me scroll down and make some room. And I'll make another workspace for us. So we don't get things too confused. Okay. So step three, over here now. We said, okay, volume is equal to one half 
times the base, and the base is equal to one half times the height. So one half times the height times just the regular height. So this is really one half times the base, but the base is one half the height. So we just we eliminated a variable by solving for one essentially. And then this is all times the length. And now let's simplify that. So this is equal to one fourth times the length is 14 times h squared times h squared. Okay, so now we have v in terms of in terms of just h. So now we can we have the relationship of v and h and now we can figure out what the what the rate of changes are by just taking the derivative with respect to time. So this will become once we take the derivative with respect to time dv dt is equal to 14 fourths times by 2 times 2h dh dt don't forget because the 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 variable that we were taking the derivative with respect to the t didn't match the h so we needed to tack on this dh dt it's it's really just the chain rule okay so let's clean that up a little bit so dv dt and uh, well let me go back what is dv dt equal to the the rate of change of the volume is two feet cube per minute that's how much volume is being added so that's the rate of change of the volume so this is going to be equal to 2 is equal to, and then this 4 and 2 will cancel, so it'll just be 14 over 2 h dh dt. And you know, I, I actually forgot a piece of this this problem. It should it should give us when the uh, at what time, or it should tell us when it wants us to find this rate of change, because it's going to be different for different heights. So let's just say for h the height is equal to 3 so we want to find out when when we're the height is is half full or or this triangle is essentially i shouldn't say half full that's that's misleading but when the when the height is is 3 feet so right when the height is 3 feet what is the rate of change so that was my mistake i should have put that right in the beginning of the problem that we want to know this when when the height is 3 feet because it's going to be different for different heights. So, so now all we're left with, step five, and I hope this isn't getting too messy to follow. Step five, now we just have to plug that in, plug, it, plug in our numbers. So we have two is equal to 14 over two times three times dh dt. And dh dt, that's the, the, the rate of change of the height, and that's what we're after. So now we can just solve by, by, by doing these operations. So this is going to be times both sides by 2, 4, divide by, uh, divide by 42. So 4 divided by 42 is equal to dh dt. And what are the units going to be? This is going to be feet per minute. Um, let me make sure I did that right. Three, yeah, 42. Yep, okay. So, uh, and then we, we could always simplify that into 2 and 21, 2 over 21. So this is equal to 221 feet per minute. 2 over 21 feet per minute. So that's how fast the 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 height is changing not very fast for every minute it's only moving 2 over 21 feet which is 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 approximately one tenth of a foot so every 10 minutes it moves up one more foot it's almost approximately okay so that's that problem and the key to this whole problem recapping was was to figure out the relationship between volume and height and to do that we had to figure out this similar triangle and and make a substitution for b equals one half h. Okay, see you in the next video.